All right, everyone, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to switch the switch positions on a uh, wall plate or a device. So since I use the shower light more, I'm gonna be switching that to this side and then taking the vanity light switch and moving it over one. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so starting out, I went ahead and removed all six of the trim plate screws and then went ahead and removed the cover itself. I left the circuit on, so be careful if you're going to do the same method that I did. If you already know your circuit, make sure to turn that off first. I went ahead and pulled out one of my switches and then put my electrical tester on it and then left my garage door open so I could audibly hear the noise from the panel. And then as soon as I found that circuit, which was circuit 14 for me, went ahead and turned that off just to be 100% safe. You can double check by making sure the wire is not on and then hitting the switch and making sure the light doesn't come on. Then I went ahead and moved on to taking out the second switch, um, which was for the vanity. After you remove the screws, pull out the device and then go ahead and just switch the positions just like this and make sure your wires aren't too tangled. Um, and then once you get that all figured out and folded back in there, um, go ahead and grab your screw gun and then go ahead and screw those screws back in. Once you get those all screwed back in, I always like to grab a level and make sure at least one of these is 100% straight and firm. And then you can go ahead and throw your plate on it and make sure it's still straight. Once you know that the plate is straight, go ahead and take it back off and then tighten down your screws to make it snug. For me personally, I like to make sure my switches are as perfect as possible. So if I need to adjust them, I grab my channel locks. And then once you get all those perfect and tighten down and snug, Go ahead and start screwing back in your six screws for the plate and then make sure they are all nice and straight if you are a real electrician and then turn your circuit back on and then you are ready to go and you are done make sure to double check that everything still works all right guys that's going to wrap up today's video thank you so much for watching hopefully this helped you out see you guys back in the next one god bless have an awesome rest of your day peace out